I'm sure you know what Google is, but are you aware that Google is not just a search engine, but it provides multiple services to both businesses as well as individuals. We will talk about one such service that is called Google Analytics. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by Intellipart. Before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates from us. So what is Google Analytics? Google Analytics is a tool for measuring website traffic that offers in the moment statistics and analysis of visitor behavior. Google Analytics gives website owners the ability to examine and evaluate their users' behavior in order to improve the performance of their websites. All forms of digital media, upstream web destinations, banner and contextual ads, email and integrations with other Google products can be tracked using Google Analytics. Just like any other service, there have been multiple improvements and updates and hence multiple versions of Google Analytics exist. Now if you have been following Google Analytics for a while, you may recall that the platform has undergone two significant updates since it was purchased. The year was 2008, when the transition from urchin to classic Google Analytics happened. Then again, in 2013, the transition from classic Google Analytics to Universal Analytics. Currently, we are midway through the third significant upgrade from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4, which makes this the fourth version. So what is Google Analytics 4? Let us talk about its features and get to know a bit more about this platform. Google Analytics 4, also known as GA4, is an entirely new version of Google Analytics that integrates Firebase Analytics as its backend. I'll go over the repercussions of that in this video, but the main advantage of GA4 is that it allows marketers to track user behavior within mobile and single page apps and makes an effort to clean up data that has been tainted by cookie restrictions and user consent decisions in a way that protests user privacy. So how is this platform specifically beneficial to Google's business? Google Analytics 4 was created and released as two catastrophes that threaten the company's operations are barreling toward us. First is the shift away from static websites and towards single page and mobile applications. The capacity of a marketer to comprehend how well customers are interacting with websites and mobile apps is threatened by this small of the two storms. Google Analytics' previous iteration, which wasn't well suited for handling apps, was launched in 2013. The second, more severe storm is the rise in user privacy demands. This endangers a marketer's ability to recognize a certain user as they browse the internet, which, in turn, endangers Google's primary business of showing people tailored adverts. A significant number of the features in Google Analytics 4 are made particularly to help marketers and analysts continuing their job while these two storms are raging. Now let's try to name a few of those features for both analysts and market. Firstly, we have cross-platform rollup, then explorations. Thirdly, we have propensity and churn audiences. Next is new engagement metrics, after which we have cross-platform campaign attribution, then enhanced measurement. And lastly, debug view. And that's it for this video. Thank you.